Hello. In last session, you should have learned how to、uh, do additions and subtractions of positive number and the results which are negative numbers. In these sessions, we are talking about adding negative numbers. Before we move on to the additions of negative numbers,、um, there is a very important point to remind you. Now,、um, if you look at this、um, number line. Um, we can see zero is in the middle. Positive one is one unit on the right of zero, and negative one is one unit on the left of zero. Therefore, positive one is called the opposite of negative one. And on the other hand, negative one is also called the opposite of positive one. It just like there's a mirror here. On the zero, okay, and then if you are standing here at positive one, then you can see your image, okay, somewhere here, okay,、uh, should be the same size, and then this length should be equal, and but on the opposite side, okay, and therefore in this case. Positive numbers and negative number are actually opposites of each other, and therefore, in this case, we can think in this. In the middle, there is a mirror, okay, and then one person is standing on the right, and then you can see that you can find yourself actually, um. Which is opposite to the mirror. Of course, if you look at the mirror, it seems that you can see yourself inside the mirror. But if you draw in a picture, it means you are standing.、Uh, both you and your image are on the opposite sides of a mirror. Okay, and we will use this concept to explain the idea how we add a negative number. We now move on to the next slide. Now, when if you still remember when we add a positive number, okay, and then if you look at the number nine, we move, okay, we move to the right. Now, take take this one as an example. If I have positive two plus positive one, then it means we first start at this number positive two, and then we add. A number, therefore, move to the right, and then by one unit, like that, and therefore the result here equals three, okay, or positive three. But if in this case, now um in. For using the concepts on the previous slides, because positive numbers, okay, and negative numbers are opposites of each other, and therefore in this case, when they move, okay, when they move, they also do it in opposites. Therefore, if we look at it this once again, if we add a positive number, we move to the right. And therefore, if this is a negative number, if we add a negative number in this case, we move to the left. Now let's see this example. Now, if I have positive two, okay, add, okay, plus a negative number, okay, negative one. Now, just similarly, okay, we start at positive two, and then in this case, because we add. A negative number, and then we just do opposite. Okay, we just do the opposite. Instead of moving to the right, in this case, we move to the left. Okay, by one unit. Okay, therefore, in this case, the result is positive one. Okay, it means positive two plus negative one. The results should be positive one. Okay, this is the summary of the results of the previous slide. But in but if we look at this number, okay, positive one. Um, we have another um, say 
calculations that we can have positive one also. Um, the one which is similar to this one will be two minus one. Okay, two minus one is also positive one. Then if we compare the left hand side in this way, okay, therefore it means positive two, okay, plus negative one equal positive two, okay, minus one, okay, and therefore in this case we'll see that plus a negative number, okay, plus a negative number, or add a negative number, the result is just the same as minus a number, okay, minus a positive number. Okay, now therefore in this case, um, let's look at one more example. If I have, say, positive three, okay, plus um, negative one, okay? Now, if you do it uh, by using this result, okay, or this fact, okay, therefore it means we can write it as positive three, okay, minus one, okay, therefore equals two or positive two, okay? If we do it on the number line, okay, therefore if we look at here, we start from positive three, and because we add a negative number, in order, um, instead of moving to the right, we, this time we move to the left by one unit, by one unit, and therefore we also achieve positive two, okay, the same result, okay? If we adopt this fact, then we don't need to, need to write the, the number line every time. We can just do it directly. Now, look at these five questions. Now, you can pause the video now and try to do this um, exercise by yourself first. And then you check, you just resume the video for checking the answers, okay? Now, for the first one, okay, by using the fact that we discussed in the previous slides, okay, for the first one, positive three, oh, sorry. Okay, positive three plus minus two just equals positive three minus two, or actually means three minus two, therefore, which is one. Okay, have you got the correct answer? Now, therefore, number two, it means this is positive seven minus three. Okay, which is seven minus three, which is four. Okay, if it is a positive number, we can just omit the positive sign. And then for number three, and then we can do it even faster by simplifying both brackets at the same time. Positive two plus negative five, it just equals two minus five. Okay, and then in this case, we have negative three. Number four, positive 10 plus negative 23 can be rewritten as 10 minus 23. And therefore, in this case, minus 13. And for Number five, negative three plus negative four, in this case can be rewritten as negative three minus four, and the result is minus seven. 
Okay, right. You can try to read a、uh, more example in your textbook and see whether you understand. Okay, bye.